catch and get vertical up the sideline. Okay, if that flat defender expands with them, now we're into our stick route. Okay, probably a breakout. Right? Should be a breakout here. He's matched. Okay? We didn't have either of those. There's our space. You know, it's been great uh, to be back uh, in Northeast Ohio and, and, and in the Akron community. Um, it's been uh, it's been new for me. Um, I grew up in, in Cleveland, spent most of my life in Cleveland, and um, you know, being uh, being south uh, is, is a new experience for me. But it's been it's been unbelievable. Or you'd have to pay by both, right? You could do like the water. Give close another um, before we break up. Um, but just want to just kind of get anybody's thoughts if they had any just on, on yesterday's schedule. That's obviously the first time you know we've done that way. Um, any anything there? Anything we can do better? Uh, we'd like it. Again, that's catch, and I'm violent. I'm violent to that arrow rock. Okay, why? Because now the East Ohio arrow. Now they all flow to the arrow. Spot. A little bit about me. Uh, Jake Schaefer, originally from Westlake, Ohio, about 40 minutes from Akron. Played high school ball at Holy Name in Parma. Played college ball at John Carroll University for the now head coach at the University of Akron, Tom Arth. Um, after that, I played professionally in Germany for a year. Came back, worked with coach again at John Carroll for a season. Went on to coach at Case Western for a year. On to Eastern Kentucky where I was with coach Zagorski. And then I actually made a quick stop in Chattanooga for about nine days. <coughs> Excuse me. Where I got to meet some of the people who are now here on the staff. Uh, so it was kind of like a good little introduction, you could say, to coming here where we're now at Akron. All right, here we go. Stick spacing from the backfield, right? We're number two is now coming from the backfield, the arrow route. I think Art does a good job of like leading by example. You know, he always brings a great energy into the room. He, he always has a, a presence about himself. Cato doesn't use it as a, he kind of uses it in the progression, right? But what do we think pre-snap just looking at this? He had no field wide open, right? Let's let's let let's let Boogie go to work on him, right? Nobody can stop that. Now, if I'm Boogie, I'm thinking, all right, I know like with this structure, this guy's probably the flat defender. He's inside leverage, he's up tight, he's up over the top. So I know right now, like I'm either gonna push up the hookup or I'm gonna win across his face. I mean, the quarterback position is one of the most important positions in sports. Uh, there's just a lot that goes into it. 
anyone who's ever dealt with quarterbacks knows they're a different breed. They're kind of uh, kind of prima donnas, as they've kind of been coined, but it's a lot of fun. They all think differently, so you get to coach each quarterback individually a special way. But at the same time, it's such a close group with so few players. You know, you're only having four or five quarterbacks a year, so you get to develop with those guys one on one and have a lot of meeting time because they're not involved in special teams. So there's really not one thing in particular that I like about coaching quarterbacks. It's more just coaching that position and all the minute details that go into it, all the footwork, the body language, the way you talk to your teammates, the way you carry yourself in practice. Because you know, quarterback's kind of a direct correlation, a direct reflection of what that team stands for. He's kind of the face of the program. So just kind of get each quarterback individually to understand that even if he's not the starter, the quarterback position is going to dictate how our program is going to go. And uh, I think a big difference in um, like our team is the, is the energy that, that he's provided for us. You know? um, he's a very like intense guy. He's, he's very serious about like his craft and, and why he's here. And, and he's here to develop young men. And um, I think he's, he's done a great job of, of making that known. And I think we've done a great job of following. Fatigue makes a coward of us all, right? We all know what that means. Okay, we all know what that feels like. Okay, we got to push through it. Okay, because there's times it's hot, right? We get tired. We're working. We let our fundamentals go. Okay, when we talk about like that discipline to pursue excellence every single day, right? We are defining our default performance right now, right? How we work an individual when we get tired. That's what's going to happen in the fourth quarter of the game. All right, so we got to make sure when we start feeling that way, think about that. Think about, all right, what, is I, what do I want it to look like in the fourth quarter? What is it going to look like in the fourth quarter? And I got to push myself to that. Okay, so when I get into those situations, that's what I, that's what I fall back to. Okay, what do we got, Shafe? We got three step uh, drop progression. silly like who can get down the hallway fastest when you're walking in from practice who can throw the ball the furthest after practice okay we talked about today okay coming out here to practice okay kind of our focus was our standard of excellence all right first part of our way okay first part of our way is our standard of excellence okay and today wasn't good enough okay it just wasn't right we were defeated we were defeated mentally by like period four okay the sun was out it was a little bit hot Okay, we're running around, we got tired, and we got defeated. Okay, we started moving around slowly. Okay, offense, you got your heads beat in. Okay, and that's just the facts. Okay, we got our heads beat in. Defense, you practiced well. There's a lot of really good things. Way too many self-inflicted wounds. Way too many balls on the ground. Way too many turnovers. Way too many procedural issues. Way too many substitution errors. Okay, it's not good enough. It's not gonna get it done.